everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today we're gonna to be starting a new video series where we take a deep dive look at the different resin 3D printer slicers that are available for you to use with your different 3D printers. And before we even get into any of that, I wanna find out exactly which of the slicers is the fastest when it comes to slicing the files that you wanna run off and 3D print. And for me, that's easily one of the most important questions when it comes to using any of the slicers is how long is it gonna to take to slice those dang files before I can run off and print them. So the obvious options that we're gonna be looking at are Chitu Box versus Lychee. Those are the two main slicers that I think pretty much everyone in the community pretty much uses. We also have the slicer that I just recently looked at in a previous video called Pick a Slice that's designed for your iPad. Now, as far as I know, those three are really the only three universal slicers that are gonna work with a number of different brands of 3D printers. And today, since today's video is being sponsored by Elegoo, we're gonna be focusing on getting prints printed on the Elegoo Mars 3 or the Saturn 2 or any of their 3D printers. Now, we also have things like Prusa Slicer, but unfortunately, Prusa Slicer isn't going to allow us to generate a sliceable file that's gonna work on any other 3D printer outside of Prusa, as far as I know. There's also another new slicer that's out on the market called Vlare that unfortunately doesn't work with any other slicer other than the ones that have that Vlare board inside it. There's also slicers like Photon Workshop, but again, as far as I know, those aren't gonna work with anything other than the Anycubic line of 3D printers. So for today's video, we're really gonna be focusing on comparing Lychee versus Chitu versus Pick a Slice and comparing exactly how fast they can slice a file before you can run off and 3D print it. So we're not gonna be doing anything super scientific with this other than me using my phone's stopwatch function, pressing slice on our slicer and keeping track of what the times are. And we're gonna be printing two different sets of files from Archvillain Games, one on the Elgu Mars 3 and then another on the Elgu Saturn S. And speaking of, I want to say a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video, the makers of the Elgu Mars 3 and the Saturn S that I'll be using in today's video, along with their Mercury X Wash and Cure Station that now includes an attached UV light pen that'll help me clean out the insides of our 3D prints. If you're interested in more information about any of Elgu's products, you can find links to those down below. And a big thank you again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. So here we're in the free version of Chitu Box version 193, which is typically the slicer that I use for slicing most of the prints that you see in my videos. And I've got the file from Archvillain Games here loaded in and positioned properly here on a build plate for the Elgu Mars 3. We're gonna be slicing everything at 0.05 millimeter layer height. And I'm gonna be trying to use the exact same print settings across all of the slicers. And I'm not really interested in the print time, just the time it's gonna take us to slice this, or even the accuracy of the print time that's coming out of the slicer compared to what we're printing. That's a whole nother topic. I'm really just focusing, trying to zero in on what's the fastest slicer. Also currently within Chichu Box, I had the setting disabled to calculate the volume when slicing. This drastically speeds up the slicing times. One thing to initially note here with Chichu Box, I'm gonna click slice and it's gonna very quickly process that initial slicing. That's like a, a, a fraction of a second there. It's gonna tell me an estimated time here and then I can actually proceed with slicing the file after saving it to a location. And three, two, one. That right there is the perfect example of why Cheetu Box can be an absolute pain to work with. This is the type of stuff that I run into all of the time where sometimes it just doesn't slice the file or it takes an absurdly long time for the slicing process to start. And what you typically have to do is just completely close out entirely of the program and then restart everything all over again. All right, I'm uh, I'm canceling this for the second time uh, because it's not it's not processing after a minute and a half, and I know it should be. Also, the other pain point with Cheetah Box is even if you click back, it doesn't actually cancel the processing of the file. There's no way to stop. So Chitu Box was about 30, 31 seconds after a few glitches there of getting this going. Yeah, to say this can be painful is an understatement. It's not exactly the most reliable of slicers. But the free version is exactly what it is. It's free. So we're gonna give this another go, as much as I'm pains for me to do this here with Chitu Box and the Elgu Saturn S this time with five files from Arch Villain Games. So about two minutes and 40 seconds for Chitu Box to slice these files on the Elgu Saturn S. And keep in mind, again, I purposely picked 
these files from ArchVillain Games because ArchVillain Games files are so crazy detailed and typically have a hard time slicing on a number of the slicers. And just to see if there's any difference, I'm gonna be running the same sliced files through Cheetubox Pro as well and seeing what the time results are. Cheetubox Pro, that was painfully slow. All right, so I've got the models brought into Lychee Slicer. Again, this is the free version that uh, you can just run off, download, and start slicing things with. One thing to keep in mind with the free version of Lychee Slicer, unlike Cheetu Box, you are gonna have ads in this when you go to slice your files. And it looks like it's about 20 seconds worth of ads that we'll need to account for in our timing. The really cool thing about Lychee Slicer is that it like immediately begins slicing your files as soon as you sit go. Unlike Chitu Box, which seems to take, I don't know, a handful of seconds to actually kick in and start slicing things. I also love the fact that you can actually see it slicing while it's actually doing its thing. Next up is the pro version of Lychee Slicer. We are going to arrange our models on the build plate and get this sliced up. At least we know for sure that Lychee Slicer is consistently better at slicing files than in Cheetu Box with just being able to properly slice them without things locking up or running into issues while slicing. The slicing times also are the almost identical other than obviously the free version of Lychee is gonna have those ads in front of them so it's gonna add on an extra 20 seconds to your slicing times. And we still have one more to go which is Pick a Slice which is a brand new resin 3D printer slicer for your iPad. So I've got my first set of models brought into Pick a Slice here. I've got it set up against the Elgoo Mars 3. Again, 0 0.05 millimeter layer height and trying to use the exact same settings pretty much across all of the slicers. The other thing that I love about this slicer is that it actually gives you a recap of exactly how long it took to slice the file. <laughs> that took less than 17 seconds, which is just about half the time that it took Cheetu Box and Lychee to slice the exact same files. So let's take a look at the results of our little experiment here that I'm honestly a little shocked by some of the results that we were seeing. The files that we sliced over on the Elgu Mars 3 for Cheetu Box Free and Pro took about 30 seconds to slice, which honestly isn't bad at all, especially for the free version, which is the primary slicer that I've been using up until today. Both versions of Lychee, the free and the pro versions, actually sliced the files in the exact same time of 52 seconds. However, the free version does have those 20 seconds of ads that you have to sit through before it will actually start the process. So for the free version, it was really one minute and 12 seconds. What honestly blew me away is pick a slice that iPad slicer only took 17 seconds to slice those files. I had a feeling it was pretty fast, but I really didn't expect it to be that much faster than the other slicers. Now for the five files that we sliced over on the Elgu Saturn S. The free version of Cheetu Box, which again had an issue on the first attempt and I had to cancel it and start the whole process over again because it wasn't doing anything after three minutes. That took two minutes and 40 seconds to slice. And for Cheetu Box Pro, it took a whopping seven minutes and 20 seconds to slice. That is crazy long time to be waiting for your files to slice. Now, Lychee Slicer is again, much more consistent with its times. So it was able to actually slice the file in one minute and 30 seconds for both the free version and the pro version. But again, keep in mind with the free version, there's 20 seconds of ads. And coming in at a crazy lightning fast 23 seconds was Pick a Slice. <laughs> That is a huge difference. Uh, what was it, seven minutes and 20 seconds or 23 seconds? I, I honestly think I'm gonna start switching over and just directly sending my files to my iPad and slicing on my iPad. The time it might take me to download a file to my computer and send it to my iPad, slice the file, then export it out onto an adapter here so that I can actually get it printing is probably gonna be faster than it would take me to actually slice a file in Cheetu Box. Also, there was no way that I wasn't gonna spend all that time doing all that slicing and not run off and print those files from Archvillain Games here on the Elgu Mars 3, which again is easily one of my favorite resin 3D printers. It just prints incredibly fast. And the results here should look really impressive once I get this cleaned up. And I also went off and printed those files on the Elgu Saturn S. Cannot wait 
to get these files cleaned up so that we can take a look at them here. The details from Archvillain Games on their files are crazy impressive, which is why I chose these files for the tests in today's video because I knew they were gonna put these slicers to the test. Now let me know what you thought about this little experiment and this new video series that I'm gonna be diving into with more details specifically about each of the slicers so that you can get a better idea of them before jumping in and spending any money on them. But let me know also down below if there are other slicer options that I just overlooked and didn't consider as part of this. And you might be thinking, Jesse, I don't have a Mac, I only use a PC. Well, I went back through on Lightyear and Cheetah Box on the free versions and retested that on my new PC laptop just to see what those results looked like and you can see them here. And oddly enough, over on my PC, Cheetah Box significantly beat out Lychee in terms of the speed at which it could slice the files. And those were some pretty large differences in the slicing times. I also wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here over on YouTube. If you're interested in more information about my resin 3D printer settings, you can find links to those over in my Patreon. And after all said and done here, we'll have to see if I end up going forward and doing more slicing with Pick a Slice over on my iPad for my resin 3D printers because it clearly is the fastest out of all the other slicers out there in terms of just the speed at which it can produce those printable files. Again, this isn't meant to like drive your buying decisions. It's just to help inform you of times that I'm seeing on my end when it comes to slicing some of these files. Hey, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.